Football season will be here before you know it. We're only 37 days away from the first Thursday night game. Sports director Wes Moore here to talk about a group that we never really talk about. Well, you know, the players are getting ready. The coaches are getting ready. But what about the officiating crews? We are seeing a shortage of referees around the country. In Texas, they are forced to spread out games on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday just because of a shortage of officials. But what about in Arkansas? Number 88 on the defense has been disqualified. It can be a thankless job. Normally, no one discusses the officiating crew unless they're complaining. But two high-profile cases involving referees in Texas made the news. A player in Edinburgh attacked an official after getting ejected. And then there were the two players at John Jay High School that tackled and speared an official. People are afraid because of the attitudes and behaviors of coaches and fans. We have to block that out. Tyrone Blanks, John Duncan, and Chris Esch have 79 combined years of officiating experience. And they can't wait for the fall to get here. I love it. Uh, I got started with my dad uh, on his crew. He did it for a long time. And after he retired, I never played football, but I fell in love with the game, got with some good guys, and just wanted to stick with it. I do it because I love the game. I give back to the game. I played the game for nine years. I was a sports writer for five years. I enjoy the game. I uh, want to give back. I I enjoy the kids. But Arkansas needs more men and women like them. If we don't have officials, we don't have a game. We always need officials. When I took this job 21 years ago, uh, Jerry Hall, who was here for 25 years, he said, Donnie, he said, you know, we have 800 football officials, and he said, you need every one of them. So we need every official we can get. Don Brodell is an associate executive director with the Arkansas Activities Association. He also serves as the liaison for the Arkansas Officials Association. <laughs> Arkansas was down about 300 officials last year, mainly due to COVID. Brodell says officiating is a great way to remain a part of the game. It takes a competitive person. I mean, it, it, takes, the, uh, it takes the type of person that wants to be to do well and takes pride in what they do. We want those type of people who are going to go out and not be afraid to put themselves in the spotlight to do the right thing and to make the right call. But sometimes officials make mistakes. Ash still talks about the play his crew missed in last year's 6A state championship game. Lake Hamilton's punter dropped the ball and kicked it while it was bouncing. That's a penalty, but no flag was thrown. In 25 years of doing this, that was a play that none of us have ever seen before, and we blew it. Turnover on downs, we're going to overtime. But Ash Blanks and Duncan are trying to advise young officials and recruit new ones. They're holding a free clinic at the Benton Sports Complex July 31st. They're hoping to find the officials of the future. But come by in the car, sit in on pregame, be on the sideline during the game, and just feel the atmosphere. There's no way to explain that or tell anybody about it except experience it. The people that I am the closest to now in life are members of my crew or the were or past members of my crew. You know, and I'd hate to say, you know, in the end, they'll probably be the, the six guys carrying my box. We can keep you for three years. You know, we're, we're going to hook you because it, you're going to be addicted to it because it's uh, you have a lot of opportunities to work. And if you like sitting at home watching it on TV, come out and watch it in person. <laughs> if you're interested in becoming an official for any sport, contact Don Brodell at the AAA's office. And if you'd like to attend the free clinic at the Benton Sports Complex, give Chris Esch a call. All that information is on Fox16.com.